This morning, I'm I am joined with John Ireland, Director of Technical Services over at Merthyr Pools USA. Thank you for taking the time. I love um, it. John is uh, the mastermind of all of the projects around the US. I mean, what is it that you don't know, right? <laughs> so I'm super appreciative that you took the time to sit with us today and chat with us about Merthyr Pools in the hospitality world especially high-rise solutions. I mean, we have a very unique technology. Can you get technical and tell us something about that? <laughs> Absolutely. So, I mean, as you know, we're predominantly known for our competitive, but the innate nature of the technology really lends itself to high-rise construction and our style as an Italian company really lends itself to the hospitality market. <laughs> so when you combine those two things together, we can really do some amazing projects. Right, and the advantages of our technology in this world, I mean from, I won't get too technical because that's your expertise, <laughs> but I mean the sound uh, soundproofing in the high-rise solutions or maybe even the ease of logistics. Sure, well, I mean, it honestly comes down to a combination of advantages. I mean, the most basic is we're an incredibly light structure. Um, so we are a modular stainless steel structure, so we're able to reduce the overall building structure in order to keep the capital cost down of building a pool into a project, um, which is really, really important because it is often seen as a, a luxury, but it's a luxury that helps you sell units or helps bring people into your commercial property. And so it can be very important. So in integrating the best pool you could possibly can by reducing overall capital costs is really important. Um, but that's really basic. There are a lot of steel pool types technologies out there. Um, the real advantage to Mirtha in a high-rise scenario is with logistics, as you mentioned. The fact that it is a modular system, the fact that every single component can come up it through a freight elevator, through a standardized door by hand, really allows us to plug ourselves into the project in a way that's going to really maximize the benefit for the general contractor when it comes to schedule. And just literally the sheer ability of getting a pool high up in a building. It's not pumping concrete 50 stories in the air. Right. It's not flying a pre-welded vessel with a crane. Um, it is just a way more scientific approach to how to build a pool in space. And creating ease, I'm sure, for everyone uh, involved on site. Well, absolutely. And I think beyond that, giving owners and even general contractors and consultants the security to know that there's a 25-year warranty on the system. That's something that really no one else can offer. Right. When you've got 40 stories of luxury condos underneath this pool, that's something that really matters because not only are you have integrating the best technology you have, you're putting the best people behind it. I mean, right. this is a company that's doing business in 80 countries and really has the horsepower to stand behind their product no matter what. Right. And I know we have many really nice, uh, I want to say, iconic projects coming up around the world um, for in our hospitality sector, a lot of them being high rise and multiple different floors in different countries, etc. Our installation teams are pretty much known, our technical installation teams are known for being the ones to kind of solve any issue or just be there to fix anything on site. I would, I have a question for you uh -huh. and be as honest as you like. What would you say has been your most challenging but at the same time rewarding project that you have been involved in specifically? And I know you also offer, let's say, consulting to other sure, teams. You sure, work closely sure. with Julio and his team over in I HQ. mean, there are a lot of them. I yeah. say all the time, if it was easy, anyone would do it. Um, so we really thrive when you have the most challenging uh, solutions required. Right. Uh, so there are, there are a host. I mean, we're doing, as Mirtha, a project in Singapore right now with a pool bridging in between two towers. Yeah. Or if it's something as simplistic but complex as doing 115 identical pools in the same building right. and just the organizational matrix of keeping all of those things straight and on schedule can be a real, real tough problem. Um, I think recently one of the ones that we've uh, done that was most uh, difficult was a high-rise pool in California entirely on a steel structure that was being designed by the building architect to move. Where does it end? <laughs> <laughs> so we had to isolate the pool shell completely from the building so that it wouldn't shift with the, with the overall building structure, maintaining its waterproof integrity, maintaining its structural integrity under incredible forces. Right. Um, and that takes 
a lot of effort from the very beginning of the project, from the concept phase, from the R&D department in Italy coming up with that custom special solution to integrating throughout the design process with the other design teams in the building. And then finally down to the build teams. I mean, right. you can manufacture and design the greatest pool in the world, but if you don't have quality installers that have great tradesmanship and are able to interact with general contractors, it really doesn't matter. Right, and it's interesting that you mentioned that because it might be that a lot of people think that we just deliver the parts and just hand them over and go, but like you said, it is a whole process. And Yeah, it is not a sales pitch to say that when you're buying a Mirtha pool, you are buying into a partnership. Exactly. Yeah, and not just for your construction long, long into the future. Our entire team takes a ridiculous amount of internal personal pride in what they're doing, and we just simply will not allow a bad Mirtha pool to be out there. When it comes to high-rise construction, so often, you really, really, really need a very specialized solution for that individual project. There is no such thing as just an off-the-shelf pool right. um, when it comes to these custom pool designs. So specific to the way the building is constructed, is it a conventionally concrete reinforced building? Is it a PT uh, post-tension slab construction building? Is it a steel frame building? Um, so those are the first questions that we need to ask and that's when we start thinking about how the structure is going to be tied to that building. Is it going to be tied to that building? Right. Are we going to be specifically anchoring into those building structures or are we going to isolate ourselves from them? You mentioned early, earlier sound attenuation. That is becoming more and more important in aquatic design. It's been something that's been ignored for years. But is the pool going to interact with the, build, in the, with the building in a way that the public is going to be able to even know that there's a pool there? Yeah. That comes from a sound attenuation standpoint. It comes from an air quality standpoint. Do you have the proper self-contained uh, air handling systems to pull those chloramines away from the pool area so that when you walk into the lobby of your hotel, you can't tell that there's a pool right. a couple floors away. Um, and Mirtha has really gone out of its way to create custom anchorage solutions with sound attenuation, um, being able to integrate sound dampening mats into the literal structure of the building. Um, these are all things that work really well because it's a modular system. Um, they don't need to be installed in advance. They can be adapted to the individual building in place. Um, we're also very good at isolating the structure of the pool from the structure of the building. Um, we, uh, several years ago, started integrating what we refer to as sacrificial footers. Right. So these are a way to mount our structure to the building without impacting the building's waterproofing, without directly impacting uh, post-tension slabs or other things along those lines. So we can integrate those building solutions with the pool solution to create the best overall package for the client. Um, and I mean, quite frankly, even though we are not a quantity consultant, um, we have all the in-house engineering to help aquatic consultants and to help architects really know what is possible. With our solution and giving them all the information that they need, assisting them with anything that they need. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, they have the idea, they have the problem, and then we bring the solution to the table for them. The perfect. That's. Now I want a hospitality <laughs> rice pool. <laughs> it's really, I mean, it can be a lot of fun. I mean, yeah. competition pools are are special in their in their finite perfection. Right. Um, but getting creative in the high rise hospitality market is is very it can cool. Be a lot of fun. I mean, coming up with special gutto technologies to create a certain aesthetic or integrating a new type of natural stone into the pool. You never know quite what you're gonna jump into before you do it. Um, yeah. But fortunately, Mirtha has the, has the background and the huge volume of references that we can kind of lean on that existing educational base to, to, to ensure that when we come up with these specialty solutions that they're gonna be what the client wants in the end. That's great. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Absolutely. That was exactly. all the details we wanted and more. I mean, it's really some complex stuff when you start to think about it. And this getting the time to sit with you and get a, just a brief idea of what really goes on behind the scenes, right? And giving more of an idea than it's not just manufacturing the pools and shipping them off to the client. There's a lot more to it. And we value our relationships, our partnerships, and we really take pride in all of the challenges, like you said, that we're able to face, but also overcome. So Absolutely. Thanks for giving us a little insight. Absolutely.